say this is one of the better episodes of Pupa. It was not that good. I'm going to be honest. Once again, Pupa becomes a complete disgrace to what the manga actually did. But it managed to actually explain the plot. It really, it felt like this episode should have been last week's episode instead of this week's episode. Because, I mean, it felt like uh, last week's episode and this week's episode should have been switched around. And this should have been, you know, like last week. So besides that little, I guess, concerns... This episode managed to explain the plot, what's going on. Yumi, as we all know, is infected with the virus. I mean, that was painfully obvious and that she likes eating people. And then we got the brother that's supposedly somehow alive, if people didn't realize how he was alive. That was explained. He, he's infected with the same virus his sister is and pretty much can regenerate almost any wound from the virus that's called pupa. So we get a title drop. We get the plot actually, I guess, a little bit explained there. But this episode was shit. It really was, once again, pupa is just complete crap. And, I, I, once again, I will say, I love the animation of the series. I really do love the animation. I really like the music. I like the, you know, just all around the feels it gives me. But, it stirs me wrong that when every freaking week I just see the garbage I am watching. I don't love trashing anime. I really don't. I love watching good anime. But... I just, the reason why I continue reviewing this series is because I just cannot believe what they have done to this series. And so, this episode, at the very least, is probably the best episode of Pupa because, at the very least, it had plot. It literally had plot. It managed to actually give me those twisted feels. So, that is good enough for me. I'll say, if they would have actually used this type of feel to each episode, like, you know, explain the plot like this episode did, and managed to keep it in a good, progressive manner of the pacing... If this series wouldn't be so bad, but the, if the, I highly doubt they could keep it up like this episode did, like, you know, make a really good next good episode or explaining the plot, most likely we'll get another, you know, minute and a half, two minute episode where you see the freaking sister eating on her brother and nothing much else. But one thing I will say I did like about this episode, one thing in particular was the freaking cat. That cat feels so out of place with, like, freaking Frankenstein stitches on its face. Did anyone else notice that? That cat's been in, you know, the freaking, you know... I guess the past couple episodes ago, but it's just weird getting to see how the cat looked so out of place the way that it was drawn and animated. But, I mean, it looks so cool and freaky. I, I love that cat. I really want to hold that cat. That's probably the best part about this episode, honestly. I mean, I just want to grab that Neko and just hold it in my arms. Anyways, guys, not much I can really discuss about this series unless you want to hear me ranting on about, you know, how terrible this anime is. But hopefully next episode will continue the pacing and feeling like this episode did. If it does, maybe I might have something really good to say about this series next week. Sorry about this anime review is going to be so short, because as we all know, this is an anime short anyways. What much can I talk about besides the same ranting and trashing I usually do? So guys, let's give me in. Hope you all a wonderful day and night wherever you live. Please stay safe. Chibi out.